Katie's Kitchen PEI. I hope you're having a fantastic day and thank you for joining me. Today in the kitchen we're going to be making the famous diet cabbage soup. Now back in the day when my mother made this uh, she would decide to go on a diet and when we saw that soup kettle come out we knew what she was making. Uh, she ate it for seven days straight nothing else just cabbage soup and uh, yes it worked and she lost weight. But uh, by the third day of her eating this soup, she would try to pawn it off on us because she was getting tired of it. <laughs> she, that's all she was eating. So I'm on a weight loss journey and uh, I am actually going to have this for probably lunch or dinner, but I am gonna incorporate other things into my diet um, because I could never eat something for seven days straight for every meal. It's just something that I can do. So uh, let's get going and I'll show you how to make cabbage soup. So what I'm gonna use in my cabbage soup is uh, cabbage. And I also bought this bag, and I know we get it in the Maritimes. I don't know if they have it anywhere else, but uh, it's a very handy bag to buy because it has cabbage in it. And it also has turnip and uh, parsnips and carrots. $3.99 I paid for this bag, which is a great deal. And if you're just making a small amount, then this is what you're gonna buy if you can. Uh, I've got a bag of carrots, a white onion, I have crushed tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. I have some garlic, and uh, I also have some vegetable um, cubes. Now, you don't have to use these, um, but I'm gonna use a couple of these in my pot. I also have granulated onion. I have chili powder, granulated garlic, and uh, I'm gonna add some broccoli to mine as well. So let's go over to the chopping board and we'll get going. Okay. So I'm going to start by taking the outer leaves off of the cabbage and uh, chopping the bottom off as much as I can. And that looks about good right there. And then I'm just going to cut my cabbage in half. And then I'm just going to give it a slice. And then we'll turn it around and do it the other way. Throw that stem away. I don't need that. Throw it in the pot. And do the same with the other half. Might be too much. I might have to transfer it to another pot. We'll have it. We'll see. We will see. Stem. We don't need that. That's good. And then we're going to do our onion. I absolutely would rather do anything else than cut an onion. I usually just put it in my blender or something like that. But uh, for this, I want to have chunks. quite an easy soup to make and it's delicious. I think my pot's going to be too small so I'll just put everything in and then I'll transfer it to a, a bigger soup pot. And I'm just roughly chopping them. My eyes aren't watering yet. And this soup also freezes really well. So if you make too much, you can just put it in a container and throw it in the freezer. I'm 
I'm just going to continue and uh, get my carrots and uh, I'm going to throw my turnip in the microwave because I find that it will cook a little bit and be a lot easier to chop up. Now I just have my turnip on a plate with a little bit of water to put in the microwave so it steams it a bit. And uh, here in the Maritimes, um, I noticed when I first moved here, because we love turnip, that um, it does not come with wax. So that makes it a lot easier to peel and cut up after as well. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave for about five or six minutes. So I've got my carrots and my one parsnip. I wouldn't put parsnips in it normally, but it came in that little bag. so. Just taking the ends off of my carrots. take some of our smaller carrots because there's not enough carrots in that bag. I'm just going to go get my bigger pot to put this in because uh, I am running out of room. So I have my turnip out of the microwave. It's a little hot and I'm just gonna go ahead and peel it with my knife. Hot, hot, hot. You can also buy the frozen turnip. I just have never seen it here. Um, it's a lot easier. I can say that for sure. Oops. I'm just going to cut this into small squares. Throw that in. Just gonna wash this turnip off that I dropped.
throw that in. And broccoli. And I don't want to put all the pieces in that are too, too big. They're too big. Let's chop them in half. Now, my mom never used to put broccoli in her soup because, uh, you know, it was expensive. And uh, it still can be expensive. So I usually buy it on sale. I just find that it adds just something extra to the soup. Same with turnip. She never put turnip in there. And she never added salt and pepper. Which, um... Maybe is the reason I didn't like it. Bless her soul. But that's just the way the recipe was back then. And uh, I'm just switching it up a little. And this broccoli was fairly cheap anyways. It was uh, two of those big bags for, I think, $6.00. Okay, I'm going to chop some of this garlic up. Just pry these out. You can use the garlic in the jar if you want to. Um, that's fine. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Garlic is another thing lately. It's just been awful. It's hard to find good garlic. My husband cooks with garlic a lot, so that's why we have it in the jar in the fridge for those times that we can't find it. And I'm just going to give it a smash and then I'm just going to cut it up. We do go through a lot of garlic in this house. And that's something my, my, my mom, she never really knew too much about garlic. She didn't really uh, know about a lot of spices. And uh, neither did I when I was younger. I'm going to go and open the tomato, um, the crushed tomatoes and the pureed tomatoes, and uh, I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and empty into the pot my can of diced tomatoes. And I have the, um, the herb and spice one, the no name, and then the Elmer uh, crushed tomatoes. We're just going to add that in. 
Make sure you scoop out all that's in there. You don't want to waste anything. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to put a couple of cubes of the vegetable stock in there. Like I said, back in the day, there was just one recipe that was shared with everybody in the neighborhood, all my mom's sisters, and uh, it was fairly bland. So, you know, add the spices that you like to this. You know, make it flavorful. Uh, I'm going to... Where did I put my spoon? One second. So I have the granulated onion here. Even though we put onion in, I'm still going to put a good tablespoon of that in. And... Uh, my chili powder I'm gonna probably put just maybe a tablespoon and a half of that and my granulated garlic and probably put about well, a good tablespoon of that too maybe a tablespoon and a half even though we have garlic in there put that in anyway and I'm going to put some pepper. And I think there's enough salt in the, um, the bouillon that I don't think I'm going to add any to it. And that's it. So we're going to give this a stir. Make sure everything's incorporated. And then I'm going to add about four cups of water. Two cups. And two more and uh, I'm gonna put my burner on high and uh, we're just gonna keep stirring this for a minute to make sure everything is mixed in and uh, like I said I want this to come to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it right down because I don't want to boil the heck out of it I just want to simmer it so let's get this to a boil So our soup is just starting to come to a boil so we're going to let that go maybe five minutes and that's it and then we're going to turn the burner down and cover it. So our soup has been boiling for about five minutes and this is the time you're going to turn it down and I turn mine down to about 5.5 or 5 and just let it simmer and uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I don't have a lid that's big enough for this pot so I just made a makeshift lid out of foil and uh, we're going to check on this about every 10 to 15 minutes um, for about 40 minutes so uh, I'll see you back in a few minutes so our soup's been simmering for about 15 minutes. Just take the lid off. And we're just gonna give it a stir. It smells so good in here. You don't wanna over overcook this because then you lose all of the beautiful vibrant colors that you have in here. We just want to make everything soft. Okay, I'm going to cover it back up and I will see you in the 40 minutes is up. But don't forget to keep checking and keep stirring in 15 minute intervals. And we're going to cover it back up. So 
So it's been 40 minutes and our soup has been on um, kind of a high simmer. So now we're gonna go ahead and give it a good stir and then put the lid back on and we're gonna turn the burner down to three. So we just want a slow simmer to happen now for about 20 minutes and then our soup will be finished. If you want to add anything to it, now is a good time to do so. Um, I'm just going to give it a little taste and see if I need to add anything. Just taste the broth. It's a beautiful broth. Really, really is. And it's going to be hot. Mmm. Yum. Mine's perfect. It's exactly the way I like it. If you want to add more spices, different spices, if you want to add some hot sauce, this is the perfect time to do so. I like the way mine tastes, so I'm going to go ahead and cover it up and keep it on that low simmer for about 20 minutes. Here's our soup all done and it looks fantastic. I'm going to put some in a bowl and we'll do a taste test. So here's our cabbage soup all done and uh, it was such a delight to make. Uh, it just reminded me of when my mom used to make it. Um, I just put a little twist on it and uh, let's have a taste and see how it is. That's what it looks like. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Yes, it is so, so good. My daughters are going to love this. My husband will love it too. Mmm. So, so good. I hope you try this recipe and I hope you like it and I hope your family likes it. And uh, it is a nice little uh, meal to have if you're watching your weight and uh, that is why I made it. And I will be having this for dinner tonight and uh, I can't wait. So if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, bye for now. Yum. Mm. Mm. Fantastic.